what's going on guys welcome to another video so uh, this is gonna be a quick one uh, today I'm coming at you with three tips that are gonna help you improve your photography take better photos and basically what to look for when you're going out and shooting now before you say something obviously I'm not a professional but all uh, the times that I've been going out and shooting and doing photography and stuff like that I have found that these three little tips helped me so they might help you too so let's get on to it now the first tip that I've got for you I have found especially helpful when I do street photography when I go out into the city and start shooting a bunch of stuff is looking for those leading lines uh, that is that can be especially helpful uh, when you see like a beautiful street you want to shoot, like a walk path you want to shoot or like just I don't know, in the middle of the park or something like that like in this photo for example that you can see here uh, it follows the street and then just sort of like uh, leading the audience's eye to something towards something and that can help to produce a very beautiful image the second tip that I've got for you is shooting through something uh, shooting through bushes or a tree or some leaves or anything that you can shoot through and create like an interesting composition for example in this photo right here as you can see I shot the mountain and the houses but it's all through like the leaves of the tree and uh, that makes it much more interesting and you know much more engaging for somebody to want to look what's going on there and uh, I think all around it looks like a better picture than if I just shot the mountain itself so the last tip that I've got for you is gonna sound very obvious and very easy but it's just to use a grid that all cameras have, every camera has that and this is a tool I used to underestimate so much, basically I never used it until I started using it, until I understood uh, what's the use of it and how it could help me uh, if you shoot a portrait of someone and you want him to face like left or right uh, if you use uh, the, the leading lines you can place them better in your composition and in your image for example if I were to shoot a photo of myself here so you can see all that room uh, that I'm leaving here and you can see the lines are in my eyes now for example that is a more pleasing composition and according to the rule of thirds as if if I was here for example and I left no room for the subject which is me the model which is me at the moment uh, you know no room for me to look at and this is for example if you were to take a picture of, of that it would be it would make no sense so it, this thing can, can work also in all sorts of photography and help you like organize things in your screen basically all right guys that is it for today uh, if these tips sound obvious to you and sound very easy then you might be a very good photographer and you already know these things but if you don't know these things and if they sound interesting to you I think this is a great place to start and it's a great thing to look it, to look for when you're out shooting uh, leading lines uh, shoot through uh, stuff through bushes or anything that you want to anything you find useful uh, use the rule of thirds of course and again this is a great place to start for photography but before you close this video make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe if you already haven't this really helps me going and I will see you guys in the next one